Most forest trees are wind pollinated. So they tend to flower earlier in the year before the leaf canopy closes over because that would greatly impede the passage of the breeze transporting pollen uh, through the trees. But trees whose flowers are insect pollinated tend to hug the edges where they can be more easily seen by their insect pollinators. They also tend to have white flowers because these are more easily seen from a distance and they tend to attract a range of non-specialised pollinators. These characteristics they share uh, with the earliest flowering plants of 60 million years ago which had all of these characteristics. Elder is one such tree. You can see it's a tree of modest stature and five metres would be a tall elder tree 50 or 60 years uh, sees it reaching maturity. Uh, and since it is such a modest tree, it is something of a surprise to find that deep in the midst of prehistory, in the early Irish tradition for example, elder was considered to be among a handful of trees which had magical properties. Now when we see it at this time of the year in June, when the entire tree is ablaze with these great white plates of flowers, magical is the only word. Now if we take a look if we take a look at the flowers, here's this great plate-like inflorescence made up of many hundreds of flowers. Uh, you can see the main stem has five branches there and those branches, each of them in turn has got five and so on uh, down until we come to the individual tiny flowers. And we get the hand lens out to look at one of those. We see multiples of five again because we've got five tiny sepals at the back of each, you've got five petals, five stamens and a pistil at the centre. And uh, the stamens and the pistil mature at the same time so that self-pollination uh, is possible and regularly takes place. But the stamens, the answers of the stamens are kept well back from the pistil so this decreases the, the likelihood of immediate uh, self-pollination. And since you've got uh, insects crawling all over the surface, you're going to get a mixture of self and cross-pollination. One of the most striking characteristics of elder uh, is its scent. Uh, you can detect the tree from a long distance away by its almost narcotic aroma. Uh, so it's kind of surprising to realise that in spite of that, uh, it produces relatively little nectar. Uh, the only insects that visit the flowers, in fact, uh, are, are, are flies. The fragrant flowers are widely used for making cordials, uh, wines, and as we have here, for making elderflower pancakes. But whatever about it, its culinary use, uh, elder enjoyed a quite extraordinary reputation among the herbalists of an earlier tradition. For example, uh, listen to what the great John Evelyn in his magisterial book on the trees of Britain and Ireland in the, in, in the 17th century uh, wrote. This is the beginning of his account of Elder, where he writes, If the medicinal properties of the leaves, bark, berries, etc. were thoroughly known, I cannot tell what our countrymen would ail for which he might not fetch a remedy from every hedge, either for sickness or wound. And writing in 1657, this is William Coles in one of the most renowned manuals on herbal lore of the time. He wrote, there is hardly a disease from the head to the foot, but it cures. It is profitable for the headache, for ravings and wakings, hypochondriac and melancholy, the falling sickness, catars, deafness, faintness, and fevers. So highly did he regard Elder, that the great 18th century Dutch botanist and uh, medical man, uh, Hermann Burhave, uh, so highly did he regard it that he greeted every elder bush that he met on his daily walks. Other uses, whistles and flutes were made from the stems, the hollow stems of elder, including the Zambuca, which in fact uh, gave its name to the plant both in uh, the original Latin, Zambucus, 
and the scientific name, which is Sambucus nigra, the nigra referring uh, to the black colour of, of, of the berries. The English name, elder, is the old English word for kindle, in the sense of uh, encouraging a newly lit fire to burst into, uh, into flame. 